the wonderful, magnificent redwood tree. So much history and fascinating facts about the tallest tree of all trees. Let's take a look, shall we? The sturdy, statuesque California's coast redwoods stand out as some of the most impressive organisms on the planet. Before the 1850s, coast redwoods luxuriated amongst some two million acres of California's coast, stretching from south of Big Sur, just over the Oregon border. For thousands of years, people have managed to live in harmony with these ancient trees, understanding their importance, their unique forest ecosystem. Today, only 5% of the original old growth coast redwood forest remains, fewer than 100,000 acres dotted along the coast. The loss is heartbreaking and gives all the more reason to sing the praises of these super trees and praise is easy considering how spectacular they are. The Sierra Redwoods are the oldest living things in existence. According to research, coast redwoods store more CO2 than any other forest in the world. They hold 2,600 metric tonnes of carbon per hectare, more than double the absorption rate of the Pacific Northwest conifer trees or Australia's eucalyptus forests. How long have the redwoods been in this country? Since William Lobb first went to America, to San Francisco, found these beautiful giant beasts, brought seedlings back and seeds, and the Victorians within two years, this was 1853, and within two years, the Victorians, that were the rich Victorians, went mad for them. And that's how we have them in stately homes and our gardens and our woodlands in this country. William Lobb was a seasonal plant hunter for the Veatch nurseries. When he got back to this country, William Lobb realised that Dr Kellogg wanted to name the redwoods because they weren't called redwoods back then. So it was a bit of a fight who would be first and which name would be used. Dr Kellogg, known as Charles Birdman Kellogg, was an astonishing man. He was a one-man band campaigner to save the redwoods, which began in the late 1910s. He wanted to call the tree the Washingtonia, but John Linley of the Horticultural Society wanted to call it Wellingtonia Gigantia after the Duke of Wellington. Redwoods have existed along the coast of Northern California for 20 million years at least and are related to a species that go back to when the dinosaurs were first walking this earth. The tallest living tree currently living is a specimen of the Sikora sempivirans in the Redwood National Park in California, nicknamed Hyperion. It's a closely guarded secret of its exact location. And when it was discovered by Chris Atkins and Michael Taylor, both from the USA, in 2006, its height then was 379 feet. So many names pop up through the centuries associated with the redwoods of finding them and discovering them. But surely we look no further than the Native Americans. They lived among the redwoods for thousands of years until they were forced off their land. Fortunately now, 500 acres approximately is given back to a group of Native Americans that are going to look after this land and they've even given it a super new name. The new name is actually the Sinkion tribe's original name, which is Chiyan Ledon, meaning fish run place. How beautiful that it goes back to its original name. One of the Native American folklore stories is rather lovely. 
Once upon a time, all plants and animals were people. One of them was a coyote who created the world from the top of the Sonoma mountain. His village elders became the redwoods, crimson coloured to remind everyone that we are all of the same blood. One only had to look west to the coast redwoods to remember. Incredibly, maps of soil in the upper canopy supports a whole system for animals and wildlife and endangered species as well. The redwoods, there in the forest, in the cathedral of the redwoods, a collective chant rises to the heavens in a soft hum of harmony as the trees sing as one, a song too delicate for the ears but can be heard with the soul. The sounds in the forest are so soothing and restful and peaceful, the birds sing in the trees. So much wildlife does the redwood look after. The redwood tree is really important to the salamanders, the red-bellied newts, raccoons, pine martins, Roosevelt elk, and even endangered species. The Rufus hummingbird, the chestnut-backed chickadee, the large crested jay, the endangered species, the northern spotted owls, the marbled merlets. They live in the redwood forest and live amongst all the other creatures that need these forests. Have you heard of the ghost tree helpers with this tree? If it's not amazing enough, this is something truly spectacular. Amongst the forests of coast redwoods, there are around 400 small redwoods that are completely stripped of colour. Recent research has discovered that the so-called ghost redwoods were found to be full of cadmium, copper and nickel and other noxious metals. It's believed that the wane trees are in a symbiotic relationship with their healthy neighbours, acting as a reservoir for poison in exchange for the sugar they need to survive. These magnificent trees, in the summer, they take moisture from the fog. That's truly amazing. And they once used to shelter and house the geese. The trees are so big that when scarred by fire, cavities can form that are large enough to once be used to house geese by the settlers. Today, they are called goose pens. In the summer, the trees rely on coastal fog for moisture. The fog condenses on the needles and forms into droplets, which is then absorbed by the trees and shed to the ground where it waters the forest understory almost like making its own rain. These trees are so, so important because they help climate change. These are our saviours. We must look after these magnificent, wonderful trees. This is a banana slug, named because of its likeness to a banana. It is a favoured food for lots of the animals in the redwood forest. It's quite funny because the banana slug is one of the slowest moving creatures on earth and the redwood trees are one of the fastest growing trees on earth. You'd think that a tree of this magnificent height would have big cones, but no. Look at these tiny little cones. They are beautiful, but they're very small. Redwoods were once international. While the stately coast redwood now lives only in pockets along the Pacific coast, it used to have a much wider habitat. They could be found elsewhere in the west, as well as along the coast of Europe and Asia. 
Redwoods have very thick skin, named for the deep rosy hue of their surface. The redwood's bark is impressive beyond colour. At up to 12 inches thick, it allows the tree to generally survive forest fires, which are actually important since they create room for new seedlings to grow. One of the major destructions of the redwood forest was the gold rush that started in 1849. So big was the demand for the heavy logging that it took its toll on the vast forest. You'd think with a tree with such mass base and stature would go miles into the ground, but no, it's only between six and 12 feet, which is amazing. Attaining soaring heights of more than 300 feet, redwoods are so tall that their tops are out of sight. I'm going to walk round this incredible tree. How wide is this super tree? I'm now halfway round and it is truly a vast, vast space. These magnificent trees, they intertwine with each other so that they can support each other as they grow and reach the stars. These lofty beings do not require deep roots, but what they lack in depth, they make up for in breadth. Extending up to 100 feet from the tree's base, they intertwine with the roots of others, all holding onto each other, greatly increasing their stability. So we have the coastal redwoods, the tallest ones. We have the Sierra Nevada redwoods, the massive ones. But we also have the Dawn Redwoods from China since the 1940s. After the war, Professor Chang of China's National Central University sent an expedition to the Sichuan province in 1946 to complete a study to see if the Dawn Redwoods were still in existence. Yes, they were. A tree thought to be extinct for five million years was indeed alive. Unfortunately in nature, the Dawn Redwood is restricted to only a few small and scattered stands in China. The World Conservation Union has classified it as critically endangered due to human encroachment. The Redwoods can live for over 2,000 years. It's amazing. I am lucky to look out my window every day at a giant redwood. It's truly wonderful. I really hope you've enjoyed this redwood adventure. Like all our other trees, they've been really special, but this one stands out as one of the most special trees in the world. Till next time.